So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the formula for arc length. And the idea of that is I want to be able to find the exact length of the curve between two points. So let's say I choose this point uh, here. Let's choose this point here. And we're going to call that point A. And it's going to have coordinates x, y. OK? Now, I'm going to choose another point, which generally you would pick close to that point. OK? Uh, but I'm going to choose this point here. And we're going to call that point B. Now, what are the coordinates of point B? Well, I'm going to draw a vertical line here and a horizontal line here to make a right angle. And I'm going to say that this is a little bit of x. OK, I'm going to use the notation delta x. So delta here representing a little bit of x. OK, and consequently, this vertical distance will be a little bit of y. So that the coordinates of B are x plus delta x. And the y coordinate will be y plus delta y. OK, so what we're going to do is we are going to approximate the length of the curve from A to B by the straight line joining A and B. OK, there it is. And we're going to call that delta S. OK, and that's the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. So, what I can then say is because it's the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, I would be able to use Pythagoras' theorem to say that delta s squared would be equal to delta x squared plus delta y squared. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that through by delta x squared. Now, remember, these aren't dx's at this point. OK, so this is just a, a length, so it's perfectly fine to do that. I'm going to divide through by delta x all squared, and I'm going to get delta s all squared over delta x all squared is equal to 1 plus delta y all squared over delta x all squared. Now, of course, because delta s and delta x and delta y, they are just numbers, it is perfectly valid to then say, OK, well, that's delta S over delta X all squared is equal to 1 plus delta Y over delta X all squared. OK, then I can square root both sides and say delta S over delta X will be equal to, and because we're talking about length, the positive square root of 1 plus delta y over delta x, all squared. Now, what we want to happen is, in order to get a better approximation for our hypotenuse to be equal to the length of the curve, I would need delta x to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So I can say that as delta x tends to 0, what's going to happen is that delta s over delta x is going to get closer and closer to being dx, ds over dx. It's going to approach the gradient of the curve at that point. And delta y over delta x will also approach dy by dx. And so, as delta x tends to 0, what we find is that ds by dx is going to be equal to the square root of 1 plus dy over dx squared. So that the idea is, OK, now I have a relationship between ds by dx and dy by dx. In the, OK, well, if I wanted to work out S, because that's really what I want to find, S here is going to be the actual length of that arc. Well, if I integrate both sides of this, 
On the left hand side, I'm going to get s with respect to x. And on the right hand side, I'm going to get the integral of the square root of 1 plus dy by dx, all squared, square rooted, integrated with respect to x. Okay, and obviously you can put the limits in there, and that will be between your two values on the curve that you want to find the length of the arc between. Okay, and so that is where the formula for arc length comes from.